Okay, everybody, I want to welcome you to 21 days of stories about essential oils. We've had seen, I've seen so many miracles in, in, in my life about these oils, and um, so many people have talked about these oils with me, and especially all my business partners and team members. So I wanted to give these miracles to you. That's the whole intent of these 21 days. And today we have Megan here. So Megan Wood is here to, with us today. Hey, Megan, how are you? Hi, doing great. How are you? Good. And you're here to start off this session. I'm so grateful for you to be the first one to actually do it because it's always hard, right? When you start doing it. I'm the guinea pig. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm, guinea pig. I'm, I'm happy to do that. So let's just jump into it. If you think about all the things that the oils have meant to you, right? If you think about the, the oils and, and what they have done in your life, um, what, what has it been that really makes you enthusiastic about them? What is, what is so special about them that you would want to share with the world? What have these oils done for you? Well, so honestly, it would, I would have to say it's the emotional impact that they've had on my life. So when I first started using the oils, it was purely for the physical aspect, really, which I think a lot of us get into the oils that way. And there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. Um, you know, I started using them and I really liked them and they were like, okay, this is cool. But then um, over time, I really connected with the oils on an emotional level. And also... I guess like, so on the emotional level and in in just with the oils themselves, you know, the oils have really helped with that. Um, they're very calming when I need to be calmed, you know, they help me to feel inspired when I need to feel inspired. Um, and then also just the act of sharing the oils with people talking about them and opening myself up to that. That's been really powerful. So I would have to say it was the entire emotional impact that they've had in my life that I've loved the most about them. Can yeah. you think of can you think yeah. of one story one story in specific that kind of shows this kind of emotional impact that it's had for you? Oh yes, yeah, I, absolutely. So um, I started using the oils a couple years ago, and I started um, early summer, and so I started using them that summer. You know, kind of continue using them, use them for some things, and they were good. But then in September, I think it might have been early October. It doesn't really matter. But we went, and I remember you were with me, Anna Marie, me, you, and Colin, we drove up to Hershey, Pennsylvania for a post-convention tour. And Dr. Hill, who was the chief medical officer for doTERRA, he was there presenting along with, I guess, you know, whoever was arranging the thing. But I remember at that post-convention conference, that was the year that they had just introduced Arborvitae, which means tree of life. And that's my absolute favorite oil that doTERRA has. And I mean, I cannot rave enough about this oil. Like seriously, anybody who knows me knows that I love this oil. I talk about it all the time. And whenever I meet somebody that I'm sharing the oils with the first time, I always have them smell this oil because I'm like, it's amazing, you know, oh my gosh. And I remember that um, when they presented it, first they showed a video and, you know, maybe we can post up the video or something after this. But, um, you know, I was really impressed because I got to see how the oil was sourced, you know, which I thought was so cool, you know and then seeing where it came from and just, and I felt this immediate connection with this oil and they passed around the oil and it was a huge room. And so it took a while for it to come around. But I remember when the bottle got to me and I sat there and smelled it. I mean, I almost didn't want to give it to the next person. To the next, <laughs> like I just wanted to hang on to this oil and I smelled it. It just was such a clean smell, such, you know, it's so woody, obviously it's, it's a tree, <laughs> but you know, I just, I love this oil. And when I smelled it, it just, I felt myself really opening up and, might sound a little strange to you know smell something like might sound like a drug or whatever, but um, this oil has been so powerful in my life. And whenever I've needed, you know, emotional comfort, you know, uplifting and stuff like that, um, I've always gone to Arborvitae. And um, and so I actually just want to talk about the oil for a minute itself. So um, let me just share my screen with you. I actually have a cool little infographic here just to show a little bit what it looks like and. <laughs> few things about it but okay let me okay can you see it yet not yet all right hmm. give it a moment hopefully it'll come up there it is absolutely okay all right yeah so as you can see arborvitae thuja plicata you know I, I never refer to it that way because that's ridiculous <laughs> you know to remember that but it means tree of life and as you can see like there's um, it talks about what plant part it comes from, you know, so wood, um, it comes out for, through steam distillation, it's woody, warm, earthy, it comes from Canada, which I think is really cool, me and my husband love Canada, and it protects against environmental and seasonal threats, naturally repels insects, and it is in the insect repellent blend, you know, I've used that, it does work, 
and um, you can use it in gardening and it is a powerful cleansing and purifying agent. So, um, and then there's a couple other things, you know, that you can do with it. You can make a wood polish anyway, but those are some cool things. But I would say that probably the coolest thing about Arborvitae and um, I don't know if you want, if you, didn't you say you had a graphic or something about this? Yeah, thing? let me find it. You know, I do love the, the wood polish, something very, very I've actually mm -hmm. never used it. No, I, and I mean, I, it's pretty easy to make, right? Olive oil and vinegar and 10 yeah. drops of arborvitae. So I think yeah. that's kind of fun thing. Uh, fun I think it's cool. Yeah, it's really practical. And, you know, so there are definitely some really cool things here. And I mean, if, not, if for nothing else, I mean, just get the oil because I think it smells absolutely amazing. But um, anyway, yeah. but the real power, I think, behind arborvitae is in the emotional aspect. You know, so like I said earlier, I love the emotional aspect of the oils. And I'm sure that there are going to be other people who will talk about this too when you interview them. Um, but that's just been the most powerful impact of my life. And Arborvitae has been the best. And like it says here on the screen share, it's the oil of divine grace. And, um, and it really has meant that for me. And so there's actually, I don't know if you, so at the very bottom of the page, I don't know, do you have that on there, Anna Marie, like a screen share for the very bottom of the page? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. So, um, Interestingly enough, well, actually, okay, so my book's a little bit different that I have, but it goes right along with this, so don't, no worries, but um, so it talks about if you're struggling with some different things, negative, here are the negative emotions that Arborvitae would be really great to help you address, and these are feelings of being willful, struggle, you know, feeling like you're just, you're struggling through life, um, excessive effort, like everything feels like, oh, like, man, I just... I can't do anything easily. Like, man, everything is such a struggle. I have to put so much effort into this. So then you wear yourself out. Right. And this feeling of distrust, you don't trust anything. Uh, you feel really rigid in your life. Um, fearful, you know, just afraid that things will not work and just this complete feeling of distrust and not, you know, and fear of not knowing where you're going to go. And then also the need to control everything. And, you know, I guess maybe I'm really revealing a lot about myself <laughs> when I say that I love Arbor Vitae and then I'm talking about these things. <laughs> Maybe I'm talk, telling you all what I struggle with, <laughs> which, I mean, I'll fully admit it. Yet, yes, these are things that I've struggled with. And then the positive properties um, that Arborvitae helps you to bring about, which is kind of the antidote for these negative things. Um, it talks about it'll help you to feel peaceful and this awesome feeling of surrender, um, you know, being able to trust more. And so you're going to feel more grounded and you're going to be able to allow things to come into your life. So you're going to be in this wonderful flow and you're gonna be more relaxed and filled with grace. And it's gonna, you're gonna feel effortless living. You're gonna be able to trust in divine grace. And so whatever that means for you, for me, it's God, trusting in God. And this oil really has brought this about in my life. And again, you know, I don't, I don't know exactly how, but I mean, hopefully for those of you who are watching this, you, know, you get to come to our retreat on Saturday, this Saturday, I mean, we'll have more in the future and stuff, but we're gonna be talking about how um, the oils, you know, chemically do affect your emotions. And also, I mean, we'll talk way more than that. But this oil really has meant and done all of this for me. And when I do need that reminder, when I start to feel really anxious and just out of control in my life, like, you know, or I guess, or maybe even more so, like just this feeling of I have to control everything. Like, I, you know, I have to do this on my own. Um, it's really helpful for me to just, I t usually take, so here's Arbor Vitae right here. You know, I love this oil. Oh, you know, how, how do you use it, Megan? I'm curious. Yes. If, if so people who yes. just say, okay, this is just an oil. Mm -hmm. How can in the world can, can that help me with all these emotions, right? That I have, yeah. how, how, how do you use it? Do you use it like once a day or? Yeah. Yeah. I was actually just going to get into that. Sorry. I, I, I talk way too much. So no, like okay. on an interview and I just, I talk forever. So, um, like I said, so here's my bottle. I carry it with me everywhere. And what I like to do is in the morning time, when I first wake up, I like to put a drop of it over my heart. Now it doesn't have to just be the morning time. I do it all day, honestly. And whenever these, you know, struggling feelings, you know, you know, the things that I just described, whenever those things come up, I will go ahead. And, um, if I'm in a public place, I might just open the bottle up, you know, take a whiff or something. Um, or, but usually when I'm at home and stuff, that's, you know, I use it a lot here at home, but, um, I just put a drop of it in my hands and then I rub it right over my heart mm -hmm. and I find that really comforting. And I know for me, it's also kind of symbolic that, you know, your heart, um, you know, is a really powerful emotional place. And so for me, I just think of it as, you know, this comforting feeling that I, you know, just this comfort that I can use the oil for um, and just connecting my heart with the divine. And so I feel it just that it is really powerful that way. Um, I also put it on my throat 
um, just so I can smell it really easily. Um, it's a powerful oil. I mean, all the oils are powerful. You can smell them really easily. But usually I put it over my heart or I put it on my neck. And then oftentimes just sniff it right from the bottle. So you can use it in many ways. I love putting it directly on myself the best. I think that's my favorite. Um, I have diffused it. I'll put it in my diffuser, but I genuinely just love putting it on myself. I think that's my favorite way of smelling it. So, yeah. Awesome. I love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah. So if you, if, I want to go for a moment still because we want to keep this, these interviews for like 15 minutes, right? Okay. So people have time. But I would love, um, and thank you for sharing about the Arbavide. I know it's yeah. one of your favorites. And yep. <laughs> I'm so glad that another, another one was really funny when we went to another place, right? We went to dinner. And uh, there, was a, there was a team dinner with Christine. And there was Arbevite at the dinner. Oh, my gosh. out on it because it wasn't at your dinner plate. Remember that? I was so upset. Yes. Yeah, so we went to a team dinner. You know, it was this huge team dinner. And our awesome upline, so Christine Hales, she had gotten a, you know, awesome, cute little bag. You know, they all had, you know, a little five milliliter bottle of Arbevite. That's, that's the size it comes in. Anyway, but so there was Arbor Vitae and it was supposed to be at every dinner plate. And I'm not sure why that happened, but like it, there wasn't one at my place. And I was seriously upset because I was looking around at everybody at the table. I was like, they all got their Arbor Vitae. Where's mine? <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I felt so shortchanged. I was just like, man, this is a waste. <laughs> like it was funny, like the entire like evening, like, I mean, and there were wonderful presentations. Don't get me wrong. I was totally listening. But at the same time, I was like, seriously, like kind of bummed though, because I wanted my Arbor Vitae. And I remember I told you, I was like, Anna Marie, there, there wasn't one for me. And like, I was seriously like, because I saw a couple others, like other people hadn't really picked up theirs. They had put in their purse. And I was like, maybe I could just swipe theirs or something, you know, and they wouldn't notice. But, uh, you know, I, I can't steal oils. That's just, that's beneath me. I won't do that. But <laughs> almost though here. But I asked you afterward, and you were like, well, you know, let's just ask Christine. And so Christine, she was super awesome. She had a bunch of extras that she had brought with her and definitely thinking ahead and which was awesome and so she just you know took me with her to her little box in the back of the convention room and pulled out one for me and oh that just made my night <laughs> and so i like opened the bottle up on the way home i was just you know sniffing it and just okay. feeling this i loved it so yeah yeah I'm I'm a i love it i love it love it yeah. so if you, if you think about um if there's one kind of last message right um you're not gonna die tomorrow but if there's one <laughs> thing yeah, that, no. um but hopefully not let's put it that way um, yeah, but if there's that. one thing you would want to say to people um about these oils and about why they should use them what what, what comes up to you what comes up for me is don't underestimate the power of them like do try them you know give it a chance and you know no one's going to force you to do anything but at the same time i really say that these are powerful and they really can bring about an awesome change in your life um, in so many different ways. For me, it has been, you know, the oils themselves, you know, when I get a cold, I totally grab, you know, whatever, you know, oregano, on guard, whatever, you know, I use the oils for that to support, you know, my physical health, but then also your emotional health, they're really powerful that way. And also the business, interestingly enough, has become a really powerful change in my life. Um, just because of, again, the emotional impact that it's had, you know, sharing these oils, being brave enough to talk about them and share something that's really important to me. Um, I think a couple years ago, yeah, there's no way I would have hopped online and done an interview like this. You know, I never would have, you know, told my story, you know, and been completely vulnerable online, you know, in front of people because, you know, that just would have been too, you know, scary for me. But um, having used the oils, you know, in all these different ways and sharing them with people has been one of the best things that I've ever done. And, you know, that's, that's, that's the truth. And so I would definitely say that to people, you know, don't, don't underestimate them, give them a try and just let them, let them bring a lot of beautiful change into your life because they will. Thank you. Well, we'll leave it at that. I love it. I love what you said. Thank you again for coming on. My pleasure. Doing it. Um, and I want to encourage everybody also to please post um, on the Facebook page. We're going to have a lot of, we're going to put some videos up as well about Arbevite. I think that's an awesome idea. So let's do that. And then uh, if anybody has any comments or questions, please post, because this is a learning opportunity for us together. So it's not supposed to be just, right, just us talking. We'd love to have your comments on what you love about Arbevite. So share about Arbevite, about anything else that Megan said, because we'd love to hear it. And, um, and then we'll see you tomorrow again, because we're going to do this for 21 days. So thanks again, Megan, and we'll talk soon. Thank you. This was fun. We'll talk soon. Bye. Bye.